Despite all odds, Rolex has proven time and time again over its 118-year history that it is a force to be reckoned with. Throughout the course of over a century, Rolex watches have consistently stayed at the top of the market, and many Rolex watches have even appreciated significantly in value. Because of this, many choose to buy from Rolex simply for investment purposes, but a large majority hold these watches dear to their heart. Since they last so long, many of the watches circulating among collectors are heirloom pieces that are decades old. Among these timepieces, the Submariner stands as a top-tier watch, renowned for its impeccable craftsmanship, iconic design, and enduring legacy in the realm of luxury timepieces. This lineup from Rolex has stood the test of time, and slight upgrades over the years have made this watch almost unrecognizable compared to the first of its kind. Since its first iteration, the Submariner has been one of, if not the most popular watch in the Rolex collection. Even if you've been living under a rock, chances are that you've seen a Submariner on the big screen, on your favorite celebrity's wrist, or when you Google best watches to buy. Those aware of the constantly fluctuating market rate for second-hand pieces know that a Submariner is unlikely to depreciate in value over time, and that as Rolex's most popular watch, there are a lot of reasons why it's so revered. For those who don't really get it though, it's difficult to explain why such a simple-looking watch has had so much hype around it for so many years. Maybe you're looking for a watch to buy, and the Submariner keeps being recommended to you without any clarification. To answer these queries, it'll take a comprehensive dive into the Submariner's features and history to fully explain the phenomenon. With the arrival of the latest rendition of the Submariner, we're here to make sure you know everything about the Submariner before you buy one. So if you're thinking of getting a sub for yourself or a loved one soon, don't buy one until you watch this video to the end. As always, an explanation of what makes any watch special is incomplete without a look into its history. The first Submariner was introduced by Rolex in 1954 at the Basel Watch Fair. With a water resistance of 100 meters, which is 330 feet, it featured a rotating bezel marked with minute indicators, allowing divers to measure elapsed time underwater accurately. The watch also boasted a self-winding movement, which was a technological marvel at the time. In 1955, Rolex made slight changes in the new reference 6538 by adding an oversized crown, which is why the watch was nicknamed Big Crown. This was a timepiece that was featured in the iconic Doctor No James Bond film featuring Sean Connery. Once it appeared on the big screen, the Submariner rapidly gained cultural significance and soon became one of the most recognizable watches made by Rolex. The 60s were a crucial time for the Submariner. With the reference 5512, the addition of crown guards for added durability, along with the fact that the watch was now waterproof, made the Submariner the watch to buy for divers and collectors alike. A robust build, paired with an elegant yet rugged look, is unsurprisingly something everyone wants, so the demand for these pieces grew exponentially. As a cherry on top, the dial now contained luminescent material which improved legibility in low-light conditions, which is essential for divers. In the 70s, Rolex decided to turn it up a notch for the overall dive watch market and make the Submariner more waterproof than ever before. The French marine exploration company, Comex, wanted a watch that could go deeper than ever and decided to hire some watch companies to make such a watch. Rolex being one of those companies, and way ahead of its time, decided to add a helium escape valve. This added protective measure allowed the Submariner to remain intact during the decompression of a submarine, further adding to its resilience. After gaining a concrete reputation as one of the best all-rounder watches, the Submariner has yet again been announced this year with some more subtle yet important upgrades that take it up a notch. Initially, the Submariner was only 37mm in diameter. In 1959, the dial was increased to 40mm, which remained a staple for a very long time. In 2020, the diameter was increased by another millimeter, making the case a massive 41mm. Now, the sub measures 40.5mm, which is still quite big but expected from a statement piece like this. Although the sub has retained what is probably one of the most iconic dial designs in history, there is a lot that shifted from what it once was. With the signature geometric markers, serochrome bezel, Mercedes hands, and Cyclops lenses for the date window, a few subtle changes have made the dial up to date with other modern-looking timepieces. White gold edging on the markers, a glossy back surface with an engraved rehort, 
a printed white crown under the 12-hour marker, and a smaller crown at the bottom come together to give a touch to the aesthetics that just screams Rolex. The chromonite luminescent markers shine a bright blue in low-light conditions that can be seen even better than before due to the anti-reflective coating under the sapphire crystal cover. The 2023 Sub retains the 3235 movement that was introduced to the Sub family in 2020. The power reserve lasts a whopping 70 hours, and the movement vibrates at a frequency of 8 Hz, or 28,000 vibrations per hour. Moreover, the patented Kron Energy escarpment wheel has been tinkered with to produce a 15% increase in efficiency while working alongside the parachrome balance spring, which significantly increases its anti-magnetic qualities. Finally, what is arguably the most significant upgrade in the new Submariner is the new Oyster Bracelet. This particular bracelet is one that many have revered as the best watch bracelet in the market. Firstly, Rolex has finally decided to let go of the hollow end links in favor of solid end links, which was a complaint made by many watch collectors and identified as one of the few weaknesses in the Submariner. The bracelet follows a standard three-link format and a gigantic 46mm clasp, but there's more. The latest iteration of the Oyster bracelet now has a signature glide lock system, which offers up to 2 cm of micro-adjustment in 2mm increments. This accessibility to adjust your bracelet on the go allows for a level of comfort and customization that is honestly revolutionary. Though you might not have expected us to make such a big deal out of this, this is actually a huge deal that tips the scale in favor of the 2023 Sub for buyers. So, all in all, the Submariner has a lot to offer. The deeper into the rabbit hole you go, the more intricacies you're going to find within this timepiece that make it all the more attractive. For anyone that wants an understated yet noticeable watch that can be seen from a mile away, the Submariner is an excellent choice. If this video makes you take that leap and finally buy a sub for yourself, you'd be in very good company. This is the watch that everyone loves, including numerous celebrities. The long list includes actors such as Jack Black, Tom Hardy, Mark Wahlberg, and Keanu Reeves, athletes like David Beckham and Russell Wilson, and musicians like Rita Ora, Wiz Khalifa, John Mayer, Slash, and many, many more. The list of Submariner admirers is endless, and that is a true testament to the timelessness of this piece. Pricing for this watch starts at $9,100 for the simplistic stainless steel version and can go higher for fancier options. While it may seem like a hefty price at almost five figures, this is one of the cheaper watches in the Rolex collection. If you're looking for a high-end, versatile watch that can pretty much suit any occasion, the Submariner should be your go-to. It's hard to go wrong with a dive watch, and a dive watch of this caliber is something everyone around you will appreciate. Without a doubt, if you choose to buy a Rolex Submariner, you won't be shelling out money for something insignificant.